Hallelujah. 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 Can we give a clapping offering unto the Lord for bringing us to another month in his presence? Last month we were here. He kept us from that last month to this month. By his grace, by his mercies, by his compassion, we thank God for everything he has been doing in our lives. Can we raise up our voice to say, Lord, we thank you. Lord, I have come again to meet with you. You are the balm of Gilead. You are the one who heals me. And I know that this month you are set to move me forward again. Lord, this month, Bams of Gilead has been declared as our month of speed. We have to gain speed. Can you say, Father, move me forward in the name of Jesus. Lord, grant me uncommon speed in the name of Jesus. Father, strengthen my bones, strengthen my feet, strengthen my hands, strengthen my brains to move with speed, the speed of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Father, this month I will never be slowed down by any forces in the name of Jesus. Whatever forces that is planning or that have come together to plan to bring me down, Lord, I reject even to, to answer to their call in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, I am in your hand. Lead me in the name of Jesus. Lead me in the way to go. Lead me in the path of your righteousness in the name of Jesus. Pray that God will not allow you to make any mistake this month in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, as I move on a fast lane, as I move on a fast speed this month, Lord, no mistake for me in the name of Jesus. Even in your, in your, in your speed, ask God to save you. No accident for you in the name of Jesus. Both spiritual accident and physical accident will never be your portion in the name of Jesus. Ask God to shine his face upon you. Ask God to lead you. Can you pray for your children? Can you pray for your family members? That God Almighty lead us in our path, in your path this month in the name of Jesus. Lead us in the path to go in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 11. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 11. I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor bread to the wise, nor riches to men of understanding, nor favor to men of skill, but time and chances happen to them all. Say, Father, in this month, Lord, I will not be swallowed up in battles of life. In the name of Jesus, Father, that this month I will not rely upon my own understanding, this month, I will not rely upon my own strength. I have done that in the past and I have failed. Lord, I am here this morning to receive uncommon speed from, from you. The one that no man can give to me. The one that I cannot give to myself. Say, Father, help me not to rely upon my own strength. Help me not to rely upon my own understanding. In the name of Jesus, can you begin to pray? Say, Lord, help me. Let me draw my strength from you. Lord, let my strength come from you. Father, in everything that I will do, Lord, let me put my trust in you. Let me put my hope in you. Let me put my eyes focused on you this month in the name of Jesus. Lord, wherever you lead me, I will follow. This month in the name of Jesus. Lord, I will not follow a wrong track in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, in my speed, I will not, I will not run into danger. I will not run unto death in the name of Jesus Pray for your children that as they move about this month, as they go about their, 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 their business, their school, and everything, that no evil shall befall your children in the name of Jesus. You will not cast your seed in the name of Jesus. Your children will not die in your own eye in the name of Jesus. They will not be hospitalized in the name of Jesus. Your eyes will not see evil this month in the name of Jesus. So shall it be for you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Can you say, Father, speak to me today. Lord, use your servant to bless my soul. Use your servant to bless my life. Let me never go back the same way I came in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, 
let your servant be your mouthpiece for me. Let him say a word from you to me today that will change my life completely, that will activate this speed in my life in the name of Jesus, that I will not come in vain, I will not come as a bench woman in the name of Jesus Christ, that my blessings shall be given to me today. I will go back home with a load of blessings in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. To you be praise and glory. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning because you are faithful. Thank you for your love and care for us. Thank you because you are the one that was and is and is to come. Thank you because you sent your son to die for our sins. And Lord, in dying for us, Lord, we are holding onto that cross where everything is possible. And so, Father, we are holding onto cross today for divine speed, for uncommon speed. Father, grant unto us in the name of Jesus Christ. As many that put their trust in you, as many that believe in your word, as many that are set and ready to walk with you this month, Father, that uncommon speed, give unto us in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that this morning you will bless us through your word, and Lord, that everything that we do today shall be to, to according to your plans for us. Thank you, Heavenly Father. To you be praise and glory. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. We will invite the bands to lead us.
We can do better this morning, knowing fully well that we are in the presence of the Almighty. We can do better, knowing fully well that the Lord is going to attend to our needs today. We can do better, knowing that the presence of the Almighty is with us to bless us, to heal us, to break our yokes, to mend our lives, to mend our foundation. To release upon us abundant grace, we can do better. Father, we worship you. Ancient of days, we honor you. Be thou exalted forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because we are gathered unto you this morning. And we are very sure that you are with us. That your outstretched arm is going to come upon us. You are going to visit our situation today. Father, be thou exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please have your seat this morning. I have the pleasure to invite to the podium the administrator of Etiokon Ash Dekenri, the Reverend Canon Emmanuel Fadikbe. I used to call him the image of the cathedral because he's been in the cathedral. He was the canon in residence at the cathedral for, for some time. You are welcome, sir. Thank you for coming. God bless you. Can we put our hands together for Jesus? As we bow our heads, let us wave our hands in appreciation to the Lord, the King of Kings, the Lords of Lords, the I am that I am, our healer, the Lord who can do all things, the Lord who can grant us uncommon speed, the Lord who has all it takes to take us to our destination, the Lord who is never late. The Lord who is always on point. The Lord who is always in time. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Celebrate his faithfulness. He is ever good. He is ever sure. He is the king. He is the Lord. The I, I am that I have. The almighty. Appreciate him. Say something good to him this morning. Tell him you are sure that you are not going to come in vain. You are not returning home empty handed. It will do the impossible in your life. It will do what no man can do for you. It will say to you this morning, it will heal you. 
he will grant you that on common speed. He will take you to that level he desire for you. I celebrate him, celebrate him, appreciate him. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I want to bless the name of the Lord who has made it possible for us to be among the living at a time like this. I celebrate God's faithfulness in the life of our father, the vicar of this church, and the IJK of Lekki IJK is a father, a mentor, and a leader. One of the people we look up to in this ministry, we, we always get inspiration from his lifestyle, where he was coming from and where God has taken him. And we are sure God is taking him higher and higher in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, sir, for not forgetting me in the Tioko. I appreciate you so, so much. God bless you in Jesus' name. We want to look at God's promise for us and his plan for us today which is uncommon speed, uncommon speed. I want to read First King chapter 18, verse 46 to us. First King 18, 46. I will first of all read King James Version. It says, And the hand of the Lord was on Elijah, and he guided up his loins, and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Zedra. ESV says, and the hand of the Lord was on Elijah, and he gathered up his garment and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Israel. An amplified version. Then the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah, giving him supernatural strength. He gathered up his loins and now ran Ahab to the entrance of Israel, nearly 20 miles. This must be unusual. This must be uncommon. And such uncommon miracle, uncommon speech, the Lord will release upon you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. The first thing I want to establish this morning is that for you to experience uncommon speech, the hand of the Lord must be involved. That's the first thing I want you to know. You need... God's involvement. There is no other mean that you can get on common speed. This kind of speed you want to talk about without God getting involved. These three versions of the scripture I read made us to understand that the reason behind Elijah's success in that matter is that God was involved. His hand was on him. Not because Elijah is a good runner. Not because Elijah had all it takes. Somebody was riding a chariot. And after he had gone, the Bible says Elijah now decided to also go. And he was running on foot, on feet, and he was able to outrun the man on chariot. I pray for somebody here this morning. The anointing to outrun your mates. Though they are ahead of you, receive it this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. When we talk about uncommon speed, we are talking about something unusual, something that is not ordinary. We are talking about something extraordinary, something remarkable, something exceptional. And somebody is here this morning. I have a leading in my spirit to prophesy to your life. In this month of April, the level of recovery you are going to experience shall be alarming in the name of Jesus Christ. The speed will be so uncommon that by the end of the month, when you look back and say, how did it happen? You, you won't have explanation for it because the hand of the Lord will be mighty upon you to lead you and to do it for you and give you the testimonies. In, so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. So uncommon speech talks about God's involvement. Talks about extraordinary things. Maybe you have been 
going through one sickness or the other for years, he does not take God more than a second to say to you. You, can, you, you, you may have series of medical reports. It does not cause God more than a second to clear it. And by the time you return for another checkup, the testimony will be all as be well. And so shall it be for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever the situation is, when you receive the impartation of God's hand upon you, it brings about an uncommon speed in your endeavor. When God is involved, then you will be able to out run, outdo your, your mates. People begin to, how is he doing his own? How is she doing her own? I, I, we started together. Why is her ahead of us? Why is she ahead of us? It's because something special, something uncommon is in you. And that is the hand of the Lord. You receive it this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. This special grace gives man strength to outrun others. Sweatlessly, they fulfill God's mandate for their lives. And in doing so, because God is leading and God is ahead of them, it makes it easy to always move on and move ahead. That will be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare to you, if you can say amen, from today henceforth, your season of little efforts with great accomplishment has come in the name of Jesus. Just a little effort, the Lord will amplify it for you and you receive uncommon speech that will bring about glory load of successes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Another thing I want to us to establish from that scripture is that the kind of speech we are talking about has nothing to do with your status, has nothing to do with your connection, has nothing to do with your expertise, has nothing to do with the strategies you put in place. It is divine. And so when God is involved, God is able, more than able, to do beyond human comprehension. It will take you beyond that level you think you can achieve. And it will take you higher and higher and higher and higher. That will be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. When God's hand was on Isaac, in Genesis chapter 26 verse 12, the Bible says he received uncommon speed. In the same land where there were thousands of farmers, they did everything, nothing to show for it. But in the case of Isaac, the Bible says he laid his hand on the business and everything started flourishing. He became prosperous. He continued to prosper until he became very, very prosperous. Somebody is here this morning. The anointing that will catapult you to fortune to greater height. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Just in one day, if you are a Bible student, you remember that Joseph graduated from being a prisoner to becoming the vice president of Egypt because there is anointing of uncommon speed upon him. Receive it this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Queen Esther, on her path, rose from obscurity to become the most respected first lady in Shushan. People said, who, nobody knew her. She was a nobody. But because the grace for common speed was upon her, she became somebody of importance, even in a strange land. I pray such a grace the Lord will release upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. She had no parent to help her. But when God singled her out for favor, she became filled with divine spirit. And her rising created envy in the camp of the enemy. But they could not stop her progress. Enemy will not stop your progress in the name of Jesus Christ. I say enemy will not stop your progress in the name of Jesus. I decree for your sake, 
God will cut off all protocols and accelerate your progress beyond your wildest imagination. In the name of Jesus Christ. At times, maybe your experiences, as much as I try, it's like this thing is not moving at the pace I expected. Maybe you, you, you know that you are not trying, not that you are not working, not that you are not laboring, not that you are not putting in effort, but it's not yielding the kind of results you are expecting. From today, your story will change for the better. The speed, that uncommon speed to even outrun your mates, those who you started together, receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Like David, you remember the Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 30 that he prayed and asked God, can I pursue? God said, pursue. Will I overtake? God said, you will overtake. Will I recover? God said, you will recover. And he pursued, he was able to overtake and he recovered all. That will be your testimony in this month in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, that will be your testimony in the name of Jesus he recovered all. He recovered all because anointing for common speed was upon him. The enemy that had gone, they had gone, they've gone so far. And when God gave the approval, pursue, he received that uncommon speed. You can imagine the kind of speed he was moving for him to be able to measure up for him to be able to recover. And he also overtook his enemy. That will be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for somebody here this morning, if you can say convincing him, the wings to fly, receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They will mount up with wings as eagles. I pray for you, the wings to fly. When your mates are running, receive it in the name of Jesus. The wings to outrun, to, to, to always be ahead in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. It can only be God. It takes God for you to receive this uncommon speed. And that is the emphasis this morning. Without God, your labor, your efforts will be fruitile. You will just be struggling and struggling and struggling. If you trust, the Bible says some trust in chariots, some trust in horses. Eventually, they failed. It will amount to nothingness. But when the Lord is involved, when you put your trust in the Lord, when you call upon the God who can activate this uncommon speed in your life when you rely on him, when you hold on to him. I assure you, the sky is just the beginning and that will be our testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. God first. God first. Don't go ahead of God. Don't be too slow for God. Move at God's pace. When you move at God's pace, that is the kind of speed that no one else can ever achieve. Because God's time is the best. You know, in the Bible says there is time for everything. And so when God appears, when God says this is your time, people will begin to gather in two and three and say, how is he doing his own? How is she doing her own? Everything is just falling in place. Everything is just working for him. Everything is just working for her. And the secret is because God is involved. When God is involved, he takes charge. He makes all things beautiful in his time. I pray God will always be in charge of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. God will always be in charge of all your endeavors in the mighty name of Jesus you need to submit to his wisdom. You need to submit to God's sovereign power. You have no power of your own. You have no wisdom of your own. It must be your all in all. 
if you see any man or woman who put this or trust in God, they are always ahead. They are always above board. If anyone, anyone, anytime, if God is your priority, if God is your number one, you will always be a step ahead of your mates. I encourage you this morning, let God be your number one. For you to activate this uncommon speed, when you activate this uncommon speed, it can work for you in every area of your life. Be it your health. If you want to health recovery in, in any area of your body, if God is your number one, he will do it. There is no impossibility in him. With him, all things are possible. He will do it. What the medical doctors are saying is not possible. To God, it is possible. If an Oibo man, I always say if an Oibo, Oibo man created by God can also have this wisdom of creating spare parts of everything they create, God also has spare parts of every part of your body. He has it. He will give you a brand new one. They say you don't have a womb. God will give you a brand new one. They said your eye is so bad that it can, God can give you a brand new eye. They said your kidney is failing. It can, God can give you a brand new one. He has all this in store. Brand new, untouched, unused. You remember the story of that man that Jesus healed after four days. The Bible said when he had them to untie him, to unwrap him, they said his skin was like that of a baby. God gave him a new body, a brand new one. It wasn't the same Lazarus they knew. It was a brand new Lazarus. God took him to his own theater and remolded him. He reshaped him. He brought him back a new person, a fresh man. And everybody was like, oh, who is this man glowing? Because God was involved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So all that you need is God's involvement. Surrender to him. Allow him. Walk at his pace. Because this uncommon spirit we are talking about is in God's hand. And when you walk at his pace, you are walking at that speed that no one else can take you. No power elsewhere can take you. No connection elsewhere can take you. No demon, no occultic group can ever take you. It is impossible. God is always ahead. God is always ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, let your wisdom be submitted to that of God. Resign yourself to his judgment and the spirit and his spirit for insight, for knowledge, for you to activate this uncommon speech. You see, in the area of your business, you want your business to boom, to, to become bigger than it is. You needed this uncommon speech for your business to become worldwide known. God can do it. God can do it. Is it in the area of family life? You want God's involvement in one area or the other? Maybe you, you, you are experiencing delay in marriage, in childbearing, in whatever area. All you need is God and submit to God. He will settle all your matter. He has all it takes. He has done it before. He is still doing it and he will do your own. If you believe, say amen. I say, if you believe, say amen. God is more than enough for us. He's more than enough for us. With him, we are more than conqueror. We have more than enough when you have God. I pray the grace to continue to hold on to God. Even as we activate on common speech, the Lord will release upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to begin to appreciate God. 
just say a word of thank you to the Lord. We want to pray now. Just appreciate him and say, Father, thank you for that word you have sent to me this morning, reminding me that to activate on common speech, I need you. I need only you, nothing else. God alone. Lord, thank you for your word. Thank you for the message you have sent to me. Elijah trusted in you. You activated uncommon speed in his life. He was able to outrun somebody who was on a chariot. Father, I thank you for that word. I believe your word. I hold on to your word. I trust in your word. Give me the grace to rely only on you, to trust only in you, to believe only in you. Father, give me the grace to, to, to absolutely commit my life to you. Only you, no one else, nothing else. I submit totally to you, Lord. Take over, take charge, take charge of my life. Take charge of my, of my existence. Father, only you, only you, Lord, I live for. I live only for you. Paul says, for me to live is Christ. And if I die, is gain. Pray for grace to live for Christ. Grace to live for holy God. To do his bidding alone. Above all things, Father, release upon me the grace to serve you alone, to love you alone, to, to believe in you alone. Pray to God, pray to God, pray to God, pray to God. The grace never to look back. The grace never to give up on you. No matter what, the grace to continue in you and with you. Release upon me, Lord. Release upon me. Release upon me. Talk to God, talk to God, talk to God. Talk to God, talk to God. Talk to God. Father, give me that grace, 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 grace to trust you, grace to love you, grace to serve you the more. Father, release upon me. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want you to now pray and say, Lord, give me wings to fly. I need your power for speech. I need your power for progress in my life. I need your power for all my endeavor. Give me wings to fly. Give me wings to fly. I've come to you this early hour of the day. Father, give me wings to fly. I receive wings to fly in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. You can take a comfortable position, but make sure you are praying. Father, release upon me this morning wings to fly. When my mates are running, wings to fly. Wings to fly. I've heard from your word that uncommon speed comes only from you. It is only what comes from you that is reliable. It is only what comes from you that is permanent. Father, give me wings to fly. I receive wings to fly. I receive wings to fly. I receive wings to fly. In the name of Jesus. I receive wings to fly. I receive wings to fly. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive wings to fly. I receive wings to fly. I receive wings to fly. In the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Psalm 19, verse 33 says, He set my feet upon high places. You are going to say, Lord, because uncommon spirit comes from you, from this morning, set my feet on high places. Set my feet on high places. In the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to pray. Pray for your children. Set my children's feet on high places, Lord. According to your word, set my feet on high places. Begin to pray, 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 pray. Fathers, set my feet on high places. In the name of Jesus, set my feet upon my high places. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, set my feet upon high places. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, set my feet upon high places. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, set my feet upon high places. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' 
Mighty day, we pray. Psalm 32, verse 8 says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way which you shall go. I will guide you with my high. Pray that the Lord will instruct you from today. He will guide your step. He will lead you in the path of uncommon speed. He will guide your feet in the path of uncommon speed. He will guide your children. He will guide your business. He will guide your health. He will guide your family. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. According to your word, O oh Lord, set my feet upon uncommon places. Guide me in all that I do in the name of Jesus. Lord, instruct me and teach me the way which I shall go. Guide me with your own eyes in the name of Jesus. Continue to be my guide. Continue to lead me in the path of uncommon speed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You are going to say, Lord, because you are the source of uncommon speed. I receive uncommon speed in the area of my health recovery. Everything the devil has taken from me in the area of my health, I receive uncommon speed for recovery. I, uncommon speed for recovery. You, you have established this morning that there is nothing you cannot do, oh God. You have every every spare part for every part of my body. Everything that needs replacement. Everything that needs to be visited. Lord, this morning, I pray you will visit. Anything that needs to be replaced, you will replace. I receive a common speed for recovery. In the name of Jesus. Recovery of health. In the name of Jesus. A common speed for recovery. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. That bomb in Gilead, I receive it now. You will activate it in an uncommon way. Lord, even in my life, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. I receive it, I receive it. I receive healing, 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 healing. Speedily, in the name of Jesus. I receive healing, in the name of Jesus. Speedily, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I receive healing. I receive my healing. I receive my healing. No more delay. No more delay. No more dragging. I receive healing. I receive healing. I receive healing with uncommon speed. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I receive healing with uncommon speed. In the name of Jesus, I receive healing with uncommon speed. In the name of Jesus, I receive healing. I receive healing. I receive healing with uncommon speed. In the name of Jesus. 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 By the hand of the Lord, I receive healing. 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 Healing in my business, healing in my family, healing in my body, healing in Nigeria. We receive healing, we receive healing, we receive healing, healing in this land in the name of Jesus with uncommon speed in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we receive healing, we receive healing, we receive healing, we receive healing with uncommon speed in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. We receive healing, we receive healing, we receive healing. We receive healing. We receive healing. We receive healing. We receive healing in the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to pray this prayer and say, Lord, lay your hands upon my life like you did on the life of David. Establish your hand upon my life, O oh Lord. Let us pray in the name of Jesus Christ. When the hand of the Lord is permanently resting upon you, that uncommon speed will become a lifestyle. 
it becomes a lifestyle. Everything about you will gain the favor of God. And so on common speed will just be coming from right to left, from up and down. Everything around you will receive speed. Lord, let your hand rest permanently upon me in the name of Jesus. Establish your hand upon my life. Establish your hand upon my children. Establish your hand upon my family. Establish your hand upon my business. Establish your hand, O oh Lord, upon us in the name of Jesus. So that on common speed will be a continuum, will be a lifestyle, even for me and my household. In the name of Jesus. 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 Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus, by today we pray. Nigeria is going through a time of rehabilitation. Let us pray that the Lord will, will, will grant us uncommon speed in the area of recovery, recovery of glory. Recovery, recovery of, of our status as a nation, that the Lord will, will, will grant us on common, on common speed, even as we go through this process of recovery. Pray for Nigeria, pray for Nigeria, pray for Nigeria. Lord, we pray you will activate this on common speed in this country. It, it, we, we want it done in good time. We want it done in good time. Father, Lord, come to our rescue. Intervene, take charge. Lord, take charge. Lord, take charge. Have your way. Lord, set us free as a nation. Lord, set us free as a nation. Deliver us from the hands of tyrannies. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I pray for somebody who can say a convincing amen. In this month that we have, the hand of the Lord will be upon you. The hand of the Lord will be upon this church. The, Lord, uh, the hand of the Lord will be upon this nation. In the name of Jesus, anointing for common speed will come upon you and rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, anointing for uncommon speed that we shock even the devil and your enemy. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The hand of the Lord that is upon you will cause all that the enemy has stolen from you to be restored. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy speedy recovery upon your life, upon your business, upon your marriage, upon your family, upon your children, upon Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, I decree by the hand of God, every agenda of destruction, every agenda of distraction, every agenda of death targeted at you, the Lord will arrest today. And the Lord will give you victory in the name of Jesus. Whatever has held you backward, preventing you from going forward, today is the hand to it. Today is the hand of it. In the name of Jesus, from now henceforth, everything that is yours shall look for you. From the north, from the south, from the east, from the west, they will look at you. They will look at you. They will look at you. In the name of Jesus, when your mates are walking, you shall be running. When your mates are running, you shall be flying. In the name of Jesus, when people are casting down, yours shall be lifting up. In the name of Jesus, Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Shall we celebrate the goodness of God? Shall we celebrate the victory that God had given unto us? 
Shall we celebrate the hand of the Lord that has come upon our life for uncommon speed, for divine speed? Hallelujah. At this time, we will receive the anointing. And as we come for the anointing, we will drop our offering. The uh, money you are dropping or the offering you are dropping is not for the anointing. You are not buying the anointing. We just want you to be fast. So drop your offering as we, we anoint you. And the hand of the Lord will come upon you for divine speed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father in heaven, we join our faith together as your servants by divine grace and by divine permission. You have brought us into the priesthood under the shepherdship of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, by that name that is above every other name, we ask that this oil is consecrated in the name of Jesus. We ask, O oh Lord, that everyone that will receive this oil, let it be a seal for divine speed, for uncommon speed, in every area of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Concerning healing, concerning recovery, concerning progress, Heavenly Father, you will make perfect everything that concerns us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Through this oil, yoke shall be broken. Sicknesses shall be taken away. Businesses shall be visited. Families shall be visited. Foundations shall be repaired. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every form of delay shall be taken away. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will open the door of grace and the door of favor, the door of progress, the door to outrun in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Glory be to your holy name. And so in the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, and for the benefit of all of us that will receive this anointing, we consecrate this in the name of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Anointing for me. Oh 
In this place, we pray for signs and wonders. In this place, let the blessings flow. In this place.
Father, we thank you because forever you are God. We thank you because you are faithful to your promises. We thank you, Lord God, because by faith we gather in your presence today. We came in here by faith, trusting in you and acknowledging that you are our God. We acknowledge that all power belongs to you. We acknowledge that you are our healer and our deliverer. We acknowledge that it is only by your grace that our lives can be meaningful. We acknowledge that you are the source of all goodness. And there is nothing good that can come to us outside of you. Father, be that we exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. By faith, we have been anointed. Father, we pray, let this anointing that we have received be a seal and a mark of your divine grace upon our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. St. Paul said, let no one trouble me from now on because I bear the mark of Christ. Father, by the reason of this anointing, nothing shall trouble us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Sickness will not trouble us in the mighty name of Jesus. Failure will not trouble us in the mighty name of Jesus. Forces and powers of darkness will not trouble us in the mighty name of Jesus. Delay will not trouble us in the mighty name of Jesus. Near success syndrome will not trouble us in the mighty name of Jesus. Backwardness will not trouble us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your hand be upon our hands. May we prosper in our businesses. May we prosper in our careers. May we prosper in our ministries. As we stand here today, we are not standing alone. We are standing on behalf of our families, on behalf of our children, on behalf of our grandchildren, on behalf of our daughter-in-laws, on behalf of our son-in-laws, wherever they are under heaven, let them receive divine speed in the name of Jesus. Is it in the area of their recovery and healing? Let them receive divine speed in the name of Jesus. Is it in the area of the academics? Is it in the area of getting employment? Let them receive divine speed in the name of Jesus. Is it in the area of promotion in business or in their place of work? Let them receive divine speed in the name of Jesus. Is it in the area of getting relevant documents? Let them receive divine speed in the name of Jesus. Is it in the area of healing? Let them receive divine speed in the name of Jesus. Let your grace come upon us. Let your grace come upon your church. In the area of our building project, give us divine speed in the name of Jesus. We pray for the Diocese of Lagos concerning the centenary city. Give us speed in the name of Jesus. We pray for our nation, Nigeria, concerning our recovery. Give us speed in the name of Jesus Christ. You are here today. You will not go empty. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the blessing of today shall be generational. In the mighty name of Jesus the grace of today shall be generational. In the mighty name of Jesus, the anointing of today shall be generational. In the name of Jesus, that we should struggle with, the Lord takes it over. That which you are struggling with, the Lord takes it over. In the mighty name of Jesus, the battle is no more your battle. The battle belongs to the Lord, and he will give you victory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Glory be to your holy name. 
For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, bless our offerings. Bless our hands. We will never be in want. We shall not be borrowers, we shall be lenders. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we will have more than enough. We will worship and honor you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We want to invite our brethren that are having their birthday today. The Reverend Bami Dele, Olai on you. Today is his birthday. And our sister. Maybe they will sit. Okay, you want to bring seat for them? Okay, bring seat for them. So that they will not say we do a juro. So we shall rise as we take the happy birthday song for them. Is today your birthday? Uh uh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus we pray. May the good Lord bless you. We wish you many happy returns of your days. Long life and prosperity. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Congratulations. 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 We pray for everyone that is part of the hosting of today's Balm of Gilead. We pray that uncommon blessing will locate you. Because you have killed into this program, the Lord will key into your lives. The Lord will key into the lives of your children. That which you have given to sponsor this program, in million fold, the Lord will give back to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray that the glory of God will overshadow your life. And your life is going to be brighter and brighter in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And it shall always be well with you. We thank you, Father, for your servant that you used to minister to us today. We pray that you will continue to uphold him. The place that you have sent him at this time, that you have planted him, Heavenly Father, to be of service to your church. We pray, Lord God, that you will help him in the mighty name of Jesus. Through him, O oh Lord, greater things shall be done. You will give him success. You will hide him under your banner. You will hide his family under your banner. No evil shall befall him. No harm will come near him. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, O oh Lord God, that on common grace we speak for him. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, Lord God, we pray that upon this mountain there shall be deliverance. There shall be holiness. And we shall continue to possess our possession in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, ancient of days. 
For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Your children have celebrated their birthday today. We pray that we enjoy good health. That we enjoy longevity. Your blessing, we identify with them. The heavens will smile on you. And it shall always be well with you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Praise the Lord. We want to thank the, the band. Thank you for being here. We want to thank the media. God bless you. We thank the sextings, the cleaners. We appreciate you. We want to thank all the clergymen in the house. Thank you so very much. And we want to specially thank our brother, our guest speaker, the Reverend Canon Emmanuel Fadikbe. Thank you so very much, sir. The Lord will continue to renew your strength and bless you and your household in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We want to sincerely appreciate all of you. If you are not here, we cannot be here. Thank you for coming. The Lord will reward you. The Lord will bless you. Grace will speak for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. I want to invite the the Venerable Biora to say the closing prayer for us. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are grateful to you for the privilege we have to be in your presence this morning. We thank you for your servant through which you brought your word to us. You have promised us a divine spirit in every area of our lives. And we have prayed for it, O oh God. We have also sealed the prayer with your anointing. Lord, we ask that as we go forward, we shall begin to see the manifestation of our prayers today in the name of Jesus Christ. There shall be testimonies in our lives, in our families, even the lives of our loved ones who we have prayed for. Heavenly Father, as we bring this program to a close, we ask that what we have received this day shall be permanent in our lives. And as you go from here, Lord, we ask that your presence shall go with us in all the things we shall do today. We commit tomorrow's service into your hands. Our Lord and our God, bring us together again to worship in your presence. And we ask that every moment of our lives, we shall not depart from the circle of your grace. Lord, where we shall always be reached by you. This we ask in Jesus' name. Let us say the grace in fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Praise the Lord. Have a blessed weekend in the name of Jesus. Before you go, pick something. I think something had been prepared for you. Just pick something outside before you go.